If you are wondering whether or not you should cancel your gym membership, our next guest sitting right here may have the answer. So now joining us is Men's Health Special Projects Director Dean Statman. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, now for men and women, should they cancel the gym membership? Not yet. I wouldn't Why? say that. So mm -hmm. basically what's happened is the gym industry has been disrupted, much like many other industries we're seeing right now. Uh -huh. um, and it's two main reasons. One reason is much like millennials don't want their cable bun bundled anymore, they don't want their fitness bundled necessarily. Uh -huh. uh, classes like, you know, Barry's Boot Camp, Soul Cycle. It's more of like a... They pure bar. Pure bar, exactly, bar method. They offer a sort of a, an a la carte alternative to the gym. Uh -huh. And there's also this sort of cool factor that goes with it. You know, there's a community factor. Um, the instructors are awesome. People tend to think of, you know, their Soul Cycle instructor as someone who's infinitely cool. This is cooler. like what I do, basically, and I look exactly <laughs> like that guy. Um, <laughs> Wait, so basically your argument is that, that boutique is taking share from big box. Is that basically what you're saying? It's taking share, but I wouldn't say for all, for all people. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, if you have a more flexible schedule, uh, class, the class model is nice. You can take classes when they're available. You can choose an instructor who you like. If you run a little bit more of a, you know, maybe you work at the stock exchange and your hours are very specific, um, a gym is always there when you need it. Mm -hmm. uh, so a gym can really help out in that regard as well. But and of course gyms, there are amenities. Sure, many gyms too though also offer classes. So when you say gyms, you mean gyms that offer no classes whatsoever? Well, no, big chain gyms will offer classes now as well. Yeah. But there's, you won't see the same kind of crowd lining up for those as you will for, you know, Soul or Swerve or, sure. or, or Flywheel. Um, and the other thing that's happening is there's this big functional fitness movement that's been taking hold now for probably the last two years or so. And it's this idea that fitness is not about getting strong for your next workout. It's about improving your overall life with the things that you're doing. And so, you know, Reebok had a great campaign for, uh, for CrossFit, the, you know, they're a big sponsor of CrossFit. Um, and it was their Be More Human campaign. And it was yeah. all about improving your body to improve your life. Yes. And so you've got people now saying, well, I don't need to just be in the weights room or on the treadmill. You know, I can do... Um, you know, I can run, I can do yoga, are, meditation. Are the numbers right. down? Is Equinox and Planet Fitness, and the Planet Fitness is publicly traded. Mikey, which, which of these companies are publicly traded, these gym companies? Uh, are they down in membership right now? Well, I can't speak to specific chains, but what I can say is overall, I just saw a statistic, um, over the last year or two, gym memberships have gone up by 51%. Mm -hmm. oh. So, I mean, that's, across the board, that's a, that's a big increase. I had sure. the worst, when I went to Equinox, I had the worst experience at Equinox. Whatever. How, why? Just, nothing was ever right, they don't care. You know, the Wi-Fi was always broken. The lockers were always broken. My dad, my da both my dad and mom had fights with people at Equinox. Um, and, you know, it's just But what's interesting is that we do have several gyms that are publicly traded here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Mm -hmm. SoulCycle, though, is expected to be a new big IPO sometime within the next year or two. So you are seeing, obviously, some of these do boutique we chains the, we have the grow bigger and bigger, bigger this obviously, or at least have the Mikey. expectations. Look at this. Look at the stock. Absolutely. Look at the Planet Fitness. Thank you, guys. This is like a real show now. Um, I mean, oh, wow. Planet Fitness is up 16% yep. for the year, you know? Yeah. Uh, Pete, do we have that SOTS of me and Mikey working out this morning? Okay, so here's what happened this morning, okay? I don't even know why. I, I hope we get here. a we It get just a seems fitting, this. okay? I walk <laughs> into the gym this morning. Mikey showed up at my gym this morning. I saw. Unannounced. I don't even know why. I still don't know why. And proceeded to work out. <laughs> me and Mikey, that's me and Mikey there doing lifts at Coach Kevin's gym. How many Turkish get-ups can he do? Did you do a Turkish get up this morning? No. no. Uh, Mikey, He's not ready for that. Are you sore? Did, Look at that form. Mikey, did, that's me. I mean, I'm good. Yeah. Machine. <laughs> that is good, John. <laughs> on the on the pull down, on the cable pull down, I was doing 33 pounds. What, what, what was the weight you were doing? Mikey, I think was doing 23. But he's going to get there. Was that rep, he did rep the whole number workout. 100, 101? Yeah. Um, <laughs> did you enjoy it? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Um, come around. Come on. Real yep. quick. Real quick. Okay. Hold on. This guy again? Oh, this guy again. <laughs> well, how did you find, do you have any workout, how did you find the workout this morning? Um, I, uh, I thought it was really good. Um, I, this is a question that I asked Coach Kevin, but I mean, starting out, do you think that you should just jump right into like, uh, like a lot of, Full a, a lot of reps of low weight or, I mean. Mm, initially, I'd say no. You can sort of increase tens intensity two ways. You can up your weight and do lower reps, yeah. or you can lower your weight and do more reps. Yeah. Um, in the beginning, I would stick to moderate on both, just because your joints aren't used to that kind of load, they're not used to that sort of volume. So um, definitely take it slower in the beginning and uh, be sure to do some warm-ups as well. Okay. Are you sore? Uh, not yet. All right. Oh, give it a day or two. Sore. He'll be sore tomorrow. Yeah. Be, yeah. Sore tomorrow. He's playing squash. That was his workout before.